Hi, Tan here. Today I'm going to be covering the AS150 connector. It's basically battery leads that you connect one side to your battery, the other side to your ESC. So the AS150 connector's application is normally on larger quads. To the extent that I've heard that it's been used on X-Class such as 10-inch octocopters as well as 12S rigs. And my application is the Shendron Stick. I'm running a 265M ESCs with X8 configuration, 31 millimeter stator motors, as well as seven inch propellers. And in most situations, you can get away with an XT90, which is basically an enlarged version of the XC60. But I was experiencing when I was using the XT90 connectors that my batteries were landing quite hot. And after I changed to the AS150 connectors, this hot battery thing has just gone away. It lands cool, and even if I go hard, it, it lands warm instead of hot. And the leads I went for was the AMS branded AS150 connectors. These are the specifically the anti-spark. Remember to look out for the word anti-spark when you're buying for a better time. Now almost all of these pieces are unique except for two of the bullet connectors. So I'll run you guys through the product page on what piece is what piece. And after we identify that, we're gonna decide which of the leads go onto the battery and which ones on the ESC. And I'll run you guys through the soldering process as well. Let's head into it. Now, when you order a set of ES150s, this is what's in the box. On the top left over here, we have the positive terminal for female. And at the top right here, we have the male positive terminal for the other side. On the bottom left, we have the female lead for the negative terminal, as well as the male lead for the negative terminal. And I'll just arrange it according to the photo that I saw just now. I have the female lead over here, the plastic, as well as a bullet connector. And then I can see from the photo here, I have that black line on the top of this bullet. That would be the male connector for the positive terminal. And next I have the female lead for the negative terminal, as well as the male connector for the, for the negative terminal. And now it's time for me to decide which ends go on the battery lead and which ends go onto the ESC. And these are just photos of some Sinlifter batteries I saw online. And let's just take this as standard. As well as in real life here, I have one right here. So if I were to unscrew this Sinlifter battery, you can notice I have the positive terminal with the black ring on top on my LiPo. While for the negative lead on the LiPo, I have this bottom left side over here. Here's a get FPV listing for the Johnny FPV Banshee 8 inch. As you can see over here, these are the leads for the ESC. The positive lead is the larger plastic with the female lead over here. The negative lead, there's a hole over here on the negative lead, which is the male negative lead. Hence, this will be the leads I'll be soldering onto my ESC, while this will be the leads I'll be soldering onto the rest of my batteries. Now, you have every right to use whichever casing to whichever leads that you would like to, and I've seen other guides that tell you to do it differently from what I've listed over here. But the main reason why you might want to follow this is so that next time if you were to buy a new LiPo or you're out in the field and want to borrow it from your friends, at least if you follow the references that I've just given, there's a higher chance that your leads will match with theirs and you can just go out and fly. Anyway, let's take a closer look and get these soldered onto the ESC as well as the batteries. So before you go on soldering, just put the plastic casing of the positive lead through the ESC wire. I'll let flux and tin both the bullet connector as well as the ESC wire. Then I'll insert the wire into the bullet connector and I'll be generous and drown it with solder. Just to make sure that both my wire as well as the bullet connector has enough solder for them to meet and sit in place securely. And when I'm happy, I'll leave it to dry. And as I wait for that to fully cool down, I'll also work on the negative ESC lead. So I'll start out with the plastic casing through once again. Pre-flux and tin both ends and solder it on. Keep adding solder until you're happy. Let's leave it to dry and cool down. So now that the leads are cooled down, we can work on it with our hands. Observe the bullet connectors have grooves on them and this is to fit the shape of the plastic casing. All we have to do is hand twist them in counterclockwise 
and the plastic connector will sit in its rightful place. Same goes for the negative lead. And that's done. Let's move on to the LiPo leads. So I'm going to remove my XT90. Now to keep safe, you never want the negative and positive lead of your battery to ever touch or you'll risk a short circuit and possibly a fire. So I'll work on this one by one. I'll start by desoldering my negative lead only. Now I'll bring in my black ES150 plastic case followed by the soldering the bullet connector on. Now it's been a couple of minutes and it's cooled down so I will twist the negative plastic case in. And now I feel safe to work on the positive lead. Remove it from my XT90, put in the plastic case first, bullet lead, solder. And once it's cooled down, we'll twist the plastic case in. And that's it for the battery. And there it is soldered on, the ESC connection as well as the LiPo connection. Now plugging in ES150, the way you normally do it is for the negative lead to plug in first securely, followed by the positive lead. No sparks. And for removal, you would start out with the positive lead, removing that first, followed by the negative lead. Just like that. Now AS150s are not common with our hobby chargers, so let's make an XT60 to AS150 converter to charge our LiPos. You start out with a male plug of an XT60 with some wire, and go ahead and grab the same AS150 ends similar to the one that you use on your ESC. Put in your plastic case, solder on the bullet connector for the red wire, the negative plastic case and solder on the bullet connector on the black wire. Let it cool for a bit and then twist lock the plastic cases. And essentially this converter can be used to plug in your LiPo. You could grab your LiPo charger that accepts the XT60 like this. You can plug it in. and charge it this way. That's gonna do it, thanks for watching.